Hey, look, we're, we're, we're not going to pull it out tonight. It's uh, kind of a sad ending. Anybody that knows me knows it's about leaving it on the field. I mean, I've been saying to young people, don't be afraid to fail. You can't say that and then not go out there and kind of push the envelope. And that's what we did here. New guy, don't know anything about politics. And what I thought this would look like didn't end up being what it looked like. But I have no regrets. I have the most expensive PhD in political science that is known to man. I don't even have a degree. But my, my team promised me that they would actually put a, a, a diploma together. Um, you know, is Clay still here? Hey, Clay. I want to say thanks to the folks who travel. Clay and Amy came here from Tampa. My mom came here from Arcadia. My daughter Taylor came here from uh, New York via Boston. <laughs> Anybody else travel? We had some other ones from Florida. Oh, we got one over here. We got some others. Thank you yes. for traveling. You know, this, this was a big deal, and I appreciate your support. There's a lot of folks that were here tonight that were here the night that we launched, which we did just you know, a few feet from here. So you know, it's the people that care about you that are around you no matter what, sink or swim. And Clay, the reason I asked if you were here is when Somalia happened, which was pretty tough on all of us, you told me when it was all over, if you still had the same friends when it was over that you had when it started, then you did all the right things. You remember that? I have integrity. I didn't lie. I didn't sling mud. I tried to run the campaign that people told me they wanted me to run. Honesty and integrity. Somebody you can trust. Somebody you want to go to Washington and try to do something different. And unfortunately, it didn't work. But I don't feel bad about it. I feel better about this than I would have felt if we'd have cheated, lied, and did whatever we had to do to win and won. What we got to fix is how can we prevent this from happening in the future? How can we allow people with zero integrity and unlimited resources to win? I don't know the answer. All I can tell you is maybe, you know, it's sort of similar to what I've thought about Somalia. I mean, it's like, what, why did it happen? What, what did God intend for us to learn from that? So what does God intend for us to learn from this? I'm not sure, but maybe we'll move the needle toward integrity. Maybe we'll move the needle toward, we want to elect people that are not there for themselves, that are there to serve the nation, and maybe next time around we'll win. So I ask you not to give up, I ask you not to, to lose hope, and I appreciate your support. I am one and done. I got my degree, I'll get my diploma whenever they print it, but you won't see me running again, unfortunately. But I'll support anyone out there who I believe has the kind of heart and integrity that I have to try to make a difference for this country. Because you can't stand here and complain about what's going on in Washington, D.C., and then they'll cast your vote for somebody who's part of the establishment. I mean, you know, it's your own fault. It's why we have Joe Biden in the office, right? People complained about Donald Trump, and they voted for, for Joe Biden, and what do we got? A train wreck. Well, is Katie Britt going to be a train wreck? I don't know. But... I can guarantee you I'm a better candidate than she is. And then lastly, I want to thank my family, because just like when we started the business, which we did in 2008, I told them, we got a lot at stake here. i got to get a line of credit. We could lose our house. It's going to be tough. And they all stood behind me. And we've been very successful. And they stood behind me again in this race. And I appreciate that. They believe in me. And I thank them very much for that, starting with you, dear, starting with the kids. And I would be remiss if I didn't congratulate our youngest, Michael, for his graduation of high school today. Can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> I got to brag on him a little bit. I brag on all our kids. They're all fantastic in their own ways. He's going to Notre Dame. Not only is he going to Notre Dame, but he is only, he's one of 100 students out of 26,000 that's in the honors program. So give him another round of applause. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I guess I got one last thing to say. 
I don't know if you remember this, Michael, but, but Father Phil asked me to come and talk to the school when you were, you remember what grade he was in? Sixth grade, maybe? Yeah, I probably. And, you know, he, he went to a Catholic school, and, and small Catholic school. And in Alabama, small Catholic schools don't do that well in athletics, all right? It's just, it's a numbers game, right? We get the, we get the tar beat out of us most of the time. But, so I went out there and I talked to the kids and I said, you know what? I would argue that you, from a character perspective, you're much better off than all those kids that live over there in that, in that, or that school that won every game because it builds character when you're not successful. When you have to own up to why did this not go the way we, the way we wanted it to go and you don't get on each other, you don't criticize each other and you say, look, we'll do better next time, that's character building. And, I, and, and for my kids, I'd rather them experience that than experience this just sort of nonstop, here you go, here's another spoonful of success, because that's what creates great people. And the last thing I want to say is I have an amazing team. You know why we respect General Garrison? General Garrison was the ground force commander in, in Somalia. You know why we respect him? Because he hand wrote a letter to President Clinton saying, it's on me. He didn't blame anybody, he said, it's on me. That's what great leaders do. This one's on me. I was the one who made the decisions in the campaign. I said, look, we're not gonna go negative. We're not gonna play this stupid social media game. And it didn't work. And it's on me. And that's why I get my diploma. But Marilyn and Michael, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. We really did. And you are great people, and I wish you great success. And thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you.